miércoles y bienvenidos a Spring Spanish. Yo soy Cory, I am Cory and I am one of the Spanish teachers here at Spring Spanish. It has happened to me that sometimes I feel like my brain doesn't want to help. Oh, mis dos neuronas se pelean. My two neurons fight. But it can be quite frustrating when learning a new language. But in this video, le vamos a enseñar al cerebro quién manda. We will teach the brain who's the boss. You will be learning new Spanish words and chunks every day. Stay until the end of the video and tell me in the comments if you have any other tip that I didn't mention to learn Spanish words. Comencemos! Don't learn isolated words. Learn chunks in context. Just learning wordless won't help much when you end up in an actual conversation. And even if you know some Spanish grammar, you probably will be hesitating and translating everything in your head if you have to make full sentences. That's why it's way more useful to learn what we call word chunks or Spanish word combinations or phrases that native speakers use all the time, almost never change, and that you can learn by heart as a whole. That way, you can use them immediately in conversations and you don't even have to think about grammar. We call this way of learning Spanish conversation-based chunking. Here are some examples of chunks. Mucho gusto. Nice to meet you. ¿A qué hora? At what time? Por la tarde. In the afternoon. Buenos días. Good day. Memorize this and you'll be able to speak Spanish fluently much, much faster. Only learn relevant words and chunks. As good as it sounds, aquí mis chicharrones truenan. Uh, maybe at the beginning you want to find a more polite and practical way to say you're wrong and I am right. So, at least at the beginning, try to focus on basic sentences relevant for you and your purpose for learning Spanish. Por ejemplo, for example, Estoy aprendiendo español. I'm learning Spanish. Yo soy de Inglaterra. ¿Y ustedes de dónde son? I am from England. And where are you from? Me gusta mucho viajar. I like to travel a lot. This makes much more sense since you can use them straight away, which also will make them stick better. Check my next step. Use what you've learned. If you use words in chunks, they will stick better than if you just cram them. Say them in context with the native speaker. Escribe algo y usa la palabra. Write something and use the word. When you apply your word knowledge, the words will stick better. It doesn't matter at the beginning if you mix Spanish and English. The important thing is to memorize the word. Now, let's see the verb reír in different context. La película me ha hecho reír mucho. The movie has made me laugh a lot. Todos nos reímos cuando Lizzie se cayó. We all laughed when Lizzie fell. No me hagas reír. Don't make me laugh. If you say these phrases when speaking to a native speaker or even write them, then you will remember the word reír much, much better than if you're just repeating it from a list of words. Use mnemonic devices. Mnemonics are just a creative device 
to help us retain information. They depend a lot on association con cosas que ya sabemos, with things we already know. And our brain is really good at doing this and doing it quickly. With languages, visual people might imagine the words as images. Or with verbal or auditory people, it could be useful to use rhymes to help them remember a list. Like the month of the year, for example. Let's see a mnemonic device. In Spanish, ropa isn't rope and sopa isn't soap. But the butter it's meant to kill ya. Ropa, clothes, and sopa, soap, is often confused in Spanish. And the word mantequilla sounds like meant to kill ya. Another one. Actor Robert De Niro has a lot of money. De Niro sounds like dinero, and we all know Robert De Niro. Dinero, De Niro. $600 you've been saving? Would you become a brain surgeon overnight, son? Use flashcards or flashcards apps to learn chunks. Flashcards are a great way to memorize and review chunks in an structured way. An ideal flashcard has a full sentence in Spanish, but the chunk that you want to memorize. So it would be something like this. At the front, blank space, Te despiertas. And at the back, it would say, A que hora te despiertas? Or, What time did you wake up? Then, practice them for a few days in a row. And once you feel like you really know them, then you can start checking them with less frequency. Test yourself by only looking at the English side and see how much you memorized. You can also use a smartphone apps and the one that we use in the Spring Spanish Academy is called Brainscape and we will leave the link below. Here are some other flashcard examples. At the front, Estudio Español and Blank Space. And at the back, Estudio Español por las Tardes. I study Spanish in the afternoon. Front. ¿Qué cosas llevas? Blank space. And at the back, ¿Qué cosas llevas en la maleta? What things do you have in the suitcase? Color your home with post-its. Another thing that might help you is to stick post-its alrededor de la casa, all around the house. So, for example, if you want to learn your kitchen utensils, then you could start by sticking a post-it en el refrigerador, on the fridge, o en el microondas, on the microwave, o donde están los vasos, where the glasses are, etc etc and then you will realize that after a while you will start naming the things in spanish without even think about it or without even looking at the post-it learn the origin of the words now this might be appealing just to me but when i learn the etymology of things it tells me not only its origin but it also tells me una pequeña historia, a little story, and I'm a fan of stories. Por ejemplo, for example, castillo or castle. Both words in Spanish and English come from the Latin castellum, which is a diminutive of the word castrum, meaning fortified place, and from the same root cas, than casa or house. It means in Latin shelter or cabin. The word castle was introduced in England shortly after the Norman conquest and it was introduced because before in England they didn't have castles. Did you know that? Interesante, verdad? Interesting, right? I actually show you how it's done in my video about los meses, the months, 
there you find out the origin of the names of the months. Muy bien! ¿Te gustaron mis tips? Did you like my tips? ¿Cuál de estos aplicas tú? Which one did you apply? Feel free to check out the other videos of me and the other Spring Spanish teachers on our channel. We also have a free, more in-depth Spanish training on our website where you will discover the method that we use in our Spring Spanish Academy to have you speak in Spanish super rapido, super fast. So, you also get some free sample Spanish lessons there that come straight from our academy. So, if you're interested, just click the link in the description below. And that was all for today. I hope you learned something new. I hope you had fun. I certainly did. Y nos vemos hasta la próxima. Gracias totales. Don't forget to subscribe, drop a like and share the video with your friends.